tied to Team Hawk. Mm, interesting, interesting already. Team Hawk definitely has a pretty strong team fight overall with the Minwin Fury and the penalty zone. But That's going to be the first blood in the hands of GB with the decimation here. As uh, Team Hawk seems like they were not able to do anything about this. Yep. Honestly, really good play coming in from Zorin, right? Flickering in for it. He made sure that he was kind of monitoring the positions and really studying how Yura behaves around that mid lane. He's, they noticed that he's not really moving around to catch too much. Out Yura is going to give an early lead uh, towards Homeboy which is what they want, because you look, you're a slime of level 4. Yep, he's just about to get it as well, but Zorn, he is gonna get burst down before he gets his prime wrap. Chibi gets the decimation, gets a kill onto his iris, however, he's a little bit too low here. Gary is in a position trying to contest the turtle here. Chibi waiting for the right moment, he's trying to get information, he's looking for the wrap here, but at the same time, Sumbot gets the pick up on Yura, so this is gonna be huge, because it is gonna be what? a 2v3, but Chibi, he so somehow rough. steals it, and now they do get another one From as well. of the homeboys, forcing out everything that they had. And more importantly, we were, we were talking about that early game momentum. This is what it looks like. Oh, oh. Sapat dies. Well, oh, a yeah. very easy target for Sapat. So I do love that the homeboys are eyeing these great opportunities. They also got to remember to take a step back sometimes, wait for the cooldowns, identify the positionings of Team Ha. Yeah, it seems like this is going to be the way that they are going to be playing here when it comes to, you know, getting a pick off. As, as of now, Panda is in a little bit of trouble. They will try and settle down with Duarte instead. He needs to pump the Minion Fury, but could not get it in time to try and save Panda. Finally drops him, but it doesn't matter. The double decimation comes in. Chibi is coming online. Ooh. He's looking for the third. He almost got it, but Ryza will seal the deal. But at the same time, a tree flop. Oh, boys. They don't really care about this turtle. They want Team Hawk to show face. Yeah, it seems like they are going to try here because they are going to be committing Thorn getting caught out as well. So here comes the two-man side coming oh. from him as well. They are going to try and collapse onto it here, but again, Chibi, he gets the kill and Ryzo gets the kill on Gary as well. The rest of Team Hawk, they're getting completely bullied out by Subbot. Ryzo securing the double panda, running for his dear life. Chibi not in range for the second decimation, but they will settle with the consolation. Stealing the orange bar, but okay, Warlord. Oh, okay. He almost Six. hit 4, 1, and 5. Nearly 100% kill participation already. Oh, Zorn trying to make a play here, but here comes Noir looking for the Minion Fury. Does connect on two. They do get the follow up onto a Zorn. They take him down, but it's only a rover. Chibi still relatively healthy here, but Ryzo. Here, showing face, giving so much value damage here. Team Ha, they need to get out because they're choking their way through. Iris dropping a little bit low. Warlord Ooh. looking for the snipe. It's good, but it's not enough to take him down. So he won't be able to escape they've this. Got the, they've got the checkmate here. They basically have the checkmate against Team Ha. So we're hoping to see that maybe a counter engage from Team Ha <laughs> is what saves them this game. There is still some potential there. Minnow and Fury, penalty zone, very good at counter-engaging. But here oh. they come! Oh, here comes the collapse! They go in for the back line! They are going to spawn me their way through here. Sapphire looks for the kill, but Chibi gets the decimation. They peel them one by one, and here comes another decimation! Gary finally showing himself here, but at the same time, the Lord is knocking on towards the Crystal. Warlord trying to chip at their HP, but look oh at Ryzo! God. Look at Ryzo! The Wonder Boy! He just kicks them all! to Smitherings, oh! and they even get the wipeout! Homeboys! Find you pull the jungler away once you max out yep. your stacks, you can there zone out <laughs> back line. Ooh, Faramis! Instant counter it's pick for Homeboys. Yeah, once I saw the glue, I knew that the Warlord Faramis was gonna be me. I felt like, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. It was not mentioned, but I think, you know, with the, uh, it could be a lore, it could be a recon of something, but oh, Warlord, Warlord. He's, in, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh. Ah. Okay. Just beautifully done there. Warlord, you oh. would think. Collapsing his way through down for now. Gary looking for the steal. He Ooh. finally takes it away with the turtle. Beautiful stuff for him. Meanwhile, the Nano Rail keeps him alive. And here comes the counter play. The penalty zone from Sopa catches him and locks him in place. Noir Gary taken now. And homeboys. No way, unless he stole like a camp somewhere. Yeah, it might be the case, but Thor looking for the play here. He do catch the Thor, Tyrant Rage connects on him, and they go in for the chain CC. The stolen Nether Realm from Yura is barely going to keep him alive, but he will eventually fall in the hands of Sapphire. So no decimation up on Chibi for this fight, but the penalty zone coming in to try to lock Iris in base, and he is going to get dusted down by Warlord. Doesn't force out the split split, but the Ghostbuster was good enough to take him out. So that is going to be Team Hot losing the turtle in that fight. Yep, they're also going to lose 
eventually they're going to lose Ooh. mid tier one. Yep. Uh -oh. Great play. No Great way, play. Yura. He gets dived on. He gets pulled back with the Shadow Stampede. War a little bit late with the Earth Shatter. And that's going to be a tier one. He's just waiting for the Ghostbusters. But nope. Team Iris will still hold it in for now. Homeboys still going for the constant evade. They do catch Panda. They're going Ooh. for the current. And that's going to be a double tap here. The kill going hands off GB. Meanwhile, the Nether Realm from Warlock is going to keep alive. The fact that he was willing to slide tackle forward at any time, he could re armor it up and then gone for an onward to put knock him out of position. Let's see. Well, Thorn making the plays again. The two man's higher in rage, but he does have the mortality going in for life. For Iris with the split split. Doesn't matter. Ghostbuster takes him out. Goodbye. Uh, glue, but oh, and double the, pen. It's gonna be very, very difficult to do so for now. But Thorn making the play. Iron Drake catches on the wall. He gets the counter play, but where's the follow up from Team Hunt? Panda trying to build up some stacks for the Blazing Twenty, but they do force out the oh. Nether Rev. A sub but from behind goes for the slam. Penalties on catches. Yura catches them all. And you the sacrifice, but you only have what? to worry about two lanes. The tier two on top side ends up dropping, and at least with Gary, he's getting so much value. He's evening up his score. Yep, at the same time, he's gonna try and steal the orange buffs away from home once again, a little bit more value. But now, here comes the collapse. They're not seeing Gary. They are gonna try and force a fight, and War, he's taking a little bit too much damage. And then Nether Realm will keep Homeboys alive, and Team Ha, they need Gary back. They finally call him out, but it's gonna be a 5v4. Panda finally popping the Blazing Twins, clearing off the minions, but he's taking too much damage! Ryzo picks them off, and that is gonna be Team Ha losing Gary as well. This might be over to oh, me. Team Ha, actually. Focus fire because he's so afraid of what Warlord is dealing, uh, uh, is, is trying to do to him, and because of that, it forces Hawk to be like meat shields to a point that yep. they can't really get a particular kill. It but feels so bad for Iris. He literally cannot split split. Exactly, <laughs> but at the same time, with the Lord crashing in, concealed plays coming in from Homeboys as well. The Arthur trying to make a play. Noir getting caught out by. Lord for now, they do have the Nether Realm available. They do force the other homeboys, but at the same time, Sapphire catches the backline. GB, they get to, they focus.